The year is 1999. While you're busy reeling from one of the video game's most surprising character deaths, not that one, yeah, that's the one, poor Dompe, Dr. Adam Brasher is busy recording ripples and ruptures in space. From that data, he was able to pinpoint within a 10-hour period the arrival of a macrospatial being who possesses not but a translator on his back and the ability to travel interdimensionally. The catch here, though, he big, like really, really big. Like if he lands on our world, it would tear the bad boy in too big. Obviously, I'm talking about the infinite here. The card's ability really makes perfect sense. 20 power, he's as big as they get, but boy, can you see that dude coming a mile away since you have to skip a turn to even play him. This mimics a 10 hour window in which the doctor knew that infinite's arrival was imminent, but that's kind of it. There's really not a lot more to the character in general. He's featured very rarely in the comics, only attempted to come to our world less than a dozen times, and then actually was able to visit once when Giant Man shrunk him down to a mere 6'6". Six six. He's just a not-so-simple explorer, really. Maybe less obviously, I'm also talking about Blue Marvel here. I mentioned Dr. Adam Brasher. Yeah, that's Blue Marvel. A former Marine from Chicago with a PhD in electrical engineering, Dr. Brazier attempted to harness antimatter via a bridge to the negative zone as a means to access unlimited clean energy, dubbed Project Perseus. Not to be confused with the other experimental energy siphon process dubbed Project Pegasus that you may be more familiar with. Obviously, things went south and the ensuing reaction caused him to become a stable antimatter reactor with superhuman powers. In short... He's a Superman. Here's the catch, though. Blue Marvel's creator, Kevin Curvio, wanted to explore a very simple concept. What if Superman was black and how would people respond? In 1962, Marvel's helmet, which hid his identity, was destroyed in a battle, revealing to the generally racist American population of the era a black man with superhuman powers. Though he earned the Presidential Medal of Freedom from JFK through the incident, the government was still too cowardly to allow him to exist in the public eye, and JFK reluctantly asked Dr. Brasher to step down as Blue Marvel. Dr. Brasher conceded, and then spent years under the watchful eye of S.H.I.E.L.D., became a father, a professor, and even at times, an Avenger. Though he was not Blue Marvel publicly to the world, he never stopped fighting for our survival. As I said before, Blue Marvel is basically a human energy generator. He's able to absorb, generate, and manipulate material bonds and energy. This, once again, just falls perfectly in place with this card's ability. Creating and distributing a single unit of power across every card on the entire board is a simple feat for this alpha-level threat-enhanced individual. Now, if only he could just increase this channel's subscriber count by one as well, and, well, you know what? I guess we can leave that one to you. 